Hi there everyone, welcome back to Cody's Lab. So in the video, dissolving gold using cherry pits, I broke a piece of glassware. It's this uh, distillation adapter here. After I had added acid into the flask, I went to cap it off, and this piece of glass broke off right here. It just snapped it. Now I think the reason for that is this is actually a smooth-sided fitting meant for a cork, and I thought it was a ground glass fitting. I mean, it looks like it should be a ground glass fitting, right? But that's that's not ground glass right there. Some people did notice that I changed distillation adapters between cuts, and this is why. So I was going to throw this away and uh, buy another one, perhaps one that actually has a ground glass fitting, and I saw that I had another piece of glassware that was broke that did have a ground glass fitting. And it's the right size and everything. And I was wondering, could I take this one off and put it over onto here? Basically, you know, cut that, cut it here, and then weld them together and make a distillation adapter and save my 30 bucks. Well, let's find out if I can do it. So I went and I dug up this old tile saw here. It's uh, not the cleanest, but it still works. <laughs> Makes a lot of noise though. It's got a diamond blade, and I should be able to cut glass with it. So here's the two pieces cut, and I need to join them right there. Uh, this piece looks like it's a lot larger, but it's just kind of flared out. Uh, when I heat it, it should shrink in. Now, I was going to try to do this with a blowtorch, but I just don't think that'll put out enough heat. So I'm going to have to use the oxyacetylene torch. The problem with that is it puts out too much heat, and it will cause the glass to break as soon as I hit it with the flame. So I'm going to have to pre-warm this. So, got a little furnace here, which I can use for that purpose. And I've also got another flask, which is more or less okay, except it's got this nasty crack going through it. And I'm going to see if I can fix this today as well. So the idea here is I'm going to put it inside of this furnace, I turn the furnace on, and bring it up to about uh, not hot enough to melt the glass. I don't even want the glass soft, just hot so that the torch won't be as much of a thermal shock. So we're Probably around 800 degrees, you know, just barely glowing red hot. Should do it. Alright, so over the past little while, the furnace has come up to temperature. I'm going to pull out that flask. Let's see if we can weld it. Alright, start the torch. Don't need that big of a flame. Okay. Heat all over again. Let's see if I can stop this crack from spreading. Okay, that's a little, a little warm. Okay. Oh, that crack's just gonna get bigger. All right, this isn't working. I'm not able to keep the whole thing hot for long enough. Let's uh, work on the other thing, see if we can get that to work. Uh, let's see if I can lower this right onto there and weld them together. Okay, I think I got it working. I think 
can actually push the glass around with the flame of the torch a little bit. Kind of nice to be able to do that. looks pretty good. Let's put it back in the furnace so that it can stay hot until we can slowly cool it off. Alright well I got it in there it hasn't broke yet so I'm gonna let this uh, slowly cool off and uh, hopefully we'll have a working distillation adapter by the end of this. Okay a moment of truth. It's been about 12 hours. I just let this cool down naturally. And these uh, fire brick are pretty insulating, so it took hours and hours to cool. But it's down to room temperature now. And here we are. It doesn't look like it's cracked. It's pretty good. It's got some white powder on there. I wonder what that is. Yeah, there's no sharp edge there. Uh, twisting it around, I can't break it with just my hands. Let's see if our plug will fit it. <laughs> no problem. It looks like that'll be vacuum tight too. Let's see if I can uh, blow air into it and it'll hold. Yeah, no leaks. I think that's good. Might not use it for something that's mission critical, but for everyday distillations and stuff, that should work just fine. So I've tried to repair glassware before. I think this might be the first time I've been successful. Definitely helped to be able to put it inside the furnace for it to cool down slowly. Uh, the large flask, I was not able to salvage this, probably because it's just too much you know, while I'm heating over here, over here is cooling off in the air. Maybe if I could have had somebody else with a torch blowing on it to help keep it more evenly heated. Let's be honest, uh, this was pretty ambitious. <laughs> I didn't expect it to work out. But for small things, looks like it works pretty good. I saved myself like 30 bucks. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.